An important question is, what is the basis of calculation that we use in calculating sales variances? The most commonly used basis are either profit, which could be your gross profit or your contribution, and selling price, which is really the price of the product. The answer is it really depends. If you are calculating the impact of sales variances on the profitability, you will use profit or contribution as the basis. And if you are using the impact of sales variances on the total sales, then you will use selling price as your basis. Going back to our example, as you can see, the change in sales has impacted not only the sales dollars, but also the profitability. So for example, if we want to explain the change in actual versus budget of 8,905, in order to explain this change into selling price and quantity and mix, you will have to use selling price as your basis. But if you are trying to explain the profit change, which is $6,115 in this case, you will be using profit for your calculation. Just make a note of this information. This will be very useful and we will talk about it later again. And once you go through the detailed calculation exercise, you will truly understand what I mean. For now, it is important to understand that sales variances can be calculated using either of those uh, bases, profit or selling price, but they are each for a different purpose and you should know what are you trying to explain in each case. Another important question is the variance calculation scenario. So really, what are you trying to calculate the variance again? What happens most often is that you have actual results. So you have actual sales results, actual sales, actual profit. And then you are comparing this with uh, another reference point. So you are maybe comparing your actual results versus budget or uh, standard if you are using standard costing. Uh, you may be comparing your actual results with prior year, which is last year. It could be prior month also, it could be prior week. Uh, really depends. And then also uh, you could be comparing your actual results versus a benchmark, which could be um, industry information or you know information related to a competitor. As we go through the detailed calculation, you will see that we can set up our Excel file in a way that we can compare our actual results with budget last year or whatever other information we want to compare it with. And the calculation will work just fine. This will be the beauty of this course. Once you have the files set up, it does not matter what is the scenario, what are you trying to compare the variances for, the formulas will work, the calculation will work. You'll always have up-to-date variance analysis. However, most commonly, the two scenarios that we see most often is comparing your actual results versus budget or comparing your actual results versus prior year. In businesses and organizations, management are really interested in knowing how did they perform versus their budget or plan and how did they perform versus prior year. In this course though, we are only going to uh, look at the two scenarios, which is actual versus budget and actual versus prior year, as you can see in this example. So we will not look at actual versus benchmark or any other scenarios, but as I mentioned, these are, these are the most uh, common scenarios. Once you learn, learn to calculate the impact of variances against one scenario in this course, you will be able to uh, use it against any other scenario. So that should not be a problem.